One-Step Equations, Addition and Subtraction. Tips for Solving Equations. Number one, show your work. As long as you show your work, you can go back and identify your errors if you ever make a mistake, which definitely helps with learning equations. Number two, get the variable by itself. And number three, always check the solution. Example number one, x plus seven is equal to 10. And the first thing we want to recognize is the variable. A variable is a letter used to represent an unknown value. And in this equation, the variable is x. Step one, identify the operation being performed on the variable. If we look at this equation, we can see that the operation being performed on the variable is plus seven. This moves us on to step number two. Apply the inverse or opposite operation to both sides. So we have to think, what is the opposite of adding seven? If you said subtracting seven, you are correct. So we want to subtract seven on both sides of the equal sign. If we look at the left side, we have a positive seven minus seven and positive seven minus seven is equal to zero, which will leave us with just x on the left side, which is exactly what we want to get the variable by itself. If we look at the right side, we have 10 minus seven, and 10 minus seven is equal to three. Now we have a solution of x equals three, but it's very important to check our solution to make sure it is correct. We can do that by first writing the equation, so x plus seven is equal to 10. Then we can substitute in the value of x into the equation. So notice I replaced the x with a three. And now I have the equation, three plus seven is equal to 10. Well, three plus seven is equal to 10. So since both sides are equal, we know our solution is correct. So the solution to x would be three. Example number two, s minus six is equal to two. And we can recognize our variable in this equation is the s, which moves us on to step number one. Identify the operation being performed on the variable. Well, if we look at this equation, we can see on the side with the variable, the operation being performed is minus six which moves us on to step number two. Apply the inverse or opposite operation to both sides. Well, let's think about it. What is the opposite of subtracting six? If you said adding six, you are correct. So we wanna add six to both sides. Focusing in on the left side, we have a negative six plus positive six, and negative six plus six is equal to zero which leaves us with the s on the left side of the equal sign. On the right side, we have a positive two plus six, and two plus six is equal to eight. So now we have a solution of s is equal to eight, but it's very important to check our solution to make sure we are correct. So we start by rewriting the equation. s minus six is equal to two. Then we wanna substitute in the eight because we said s was equal to eight. So eight minus six is equal to two. If we do the math, eight minus six is actually equal to two. So notice both sides of the equal sign are two, which lets us know our solution is correct. So the solution to this equation would be s equals eight. Example number three. And this is one that gets a little bit trickier, but I know we can handle it just fine. In this equation, the variable is going to be x. Step number one, identify the operation being performed on the variable. Well, if we look on the left side of the equal sign, where our variable is, we can see that the operation being performed is negative five plus x. The most common error is students think since they see a plus sign, they automatically have to subtract five from both sides. But we have to be careful because in this equation, the five is a negative number. 
So we should be thinking, what is the opposite of a negative 5? If you said a positive 5, you are correct. And this brings us to step 2. Apply the inverse or opposite operation to both sides. So we said the opposite of a negative 5 was a positive 5. So we actually want to add 5 to both sides. Focusing on the left side, we have a negative 5 plus 5, which is equal to 0. So we're left with just x. And if we look at the right side, we have 12 plus 5, which is equal to 17. So we have our solution, x equals 17. But we want to make sure it's correct, so we have to check our solution. Step 1 is to rewrite the equation. Negative 5 plus x equals 12. Then we want to substitute in a 17 for the x. Negative 5 plus 17 equals 12. Negative 5 plus 17 does equal 12. So 12 is equal to 12, and since both sides are equal, we know our solution is correct, so x is equal to 17. Now I have problems on the screen I want you to try. I would recommend you pause the video now, solve, and then resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's check it out. Number one, x is equal to four. Number two, x is equal to three. And number three, x is equal to eight. I included all the work on the screen, so in case you had any of these incorrect, you can go back, review your work, and find your mistake. The best way to get better at equations is to practice, practice, practice. Thank you for watching.